In this lesson, we're gonna talk adding a guarantee to your offer. Regardless of which you choose, it's really important that you make it clear what it is so that it's a no-brainer for your ideal clients. You need to actually put in the work to see those outcomes. You can't add a guarantee if you don't have clarity on your outcome that you're working towards. Welcome to Swift Coaches Academy, a podcast dedicated to bringing health and wellness professionals the uncensored truth behind what it really takes to succeed in the health industry with me, your host, Xenia Wood. As an accredited exercise physiologist and business owner for almost a decade, I'm on a mission to transform the lives of ambitious health professionals like you who want more and are ready to take action to create incredible impact in your careers and unlock financial freedom in your business. So join me as I speak candidly with industry leaders about the struggles and successes from within the trenches through thought-provoking conversations. In this lesson, we're going to talk adding a guarantee to your offer. So we're going to talk about the four different types of offers and then what guarantees I personally use and why, and then adding the promise and making it clear, not clever. So first thing we want to do is reverse the risk. It's really important to understand most people are inherently risk averse and it helps a lot to have a risk reversal. You do not have to have one, but I would strongly recommend it. Some options for this can include things like money back, conditional, unconditional satisfaction, 30 day guarantee, or you could just make it so good and so involved in it where it spends a ton of your time that you decide that there is no guarantee. Regardless of which you choose, it's really important that um, you make it clear what it is so that it's a no-brainer for your ideal clients, okay? So another name for a risk reversal is a solid guarantee, and this can be really challenging to do in health specifically, but it's even harder to do with a session-by-session -session model. So if you're still thinking the session-by-session -session or like one-off services is the thing you wanna go with, I hope that by now I've convinced you otherwise. Let's talk about the four different types. Firstly, we're gonna go into an unconditional guarantee. So this means if at any time, for any reason whatsoever, someone wants their money back, then no problems, no questions asked, okay? This is great for when people get such good results, they feel indebted to you and they're unlikely to actually um, request to get that guarantee, um, right? Then it's also when they don't have to put in the work to achieve the result. So you could have an unconditional guarantee if it's like um, you will, let's say um, you will get a book shipped to you within 30 days guaranteed. And you know shipping's usually seven days uh, and, and it's on you to get them that result, right? Not on them. They don't have to do anything other than put their credit card in and make the payment. It also can be good if it's a scalable product or service, which requires minimal time and effort per person that signs up. So if you're thinking of uh, working one-to-one -one with clients and you're putting a ton of your own personal time and effort into this, then an unconditional guarantee is something I wouldn't recommend because you have a ton of effort to deliver that thing, right? It's also not so great when you aren't 100% certain everyone who signs up will get the result, right? Just say that, you know, if for any reason, even if you don't complete the course, you do none of the work, you can still get your money back. It's like, well, if some people have to put in work to get the result, you probably don't want to make it unconditional. Number two is a satisfaction guarantee. This is where you say, if you're not satisfied with the service, let us know and we'll refund you. It could also be based on time. So it could be if for any reason within the first 30 days or first seven days, you don't love it, we'll give you your money back, things like that. And this is great for getting feedback from your customers who aren't satisfied. I do this for our exercise rehab company for the initial consultation only. And if someone's not happy with that, I want them to tell me, <clears throat> they're gonna tell me because they want their money back, right? And so I'll ask for feedback at the time when I'm like, of course, I would give them their money back and would also you know, try and rectify it and other things, but it's a great time for you to get feedback. It's also great if you create rules in terms of just let us know in the first 30 minutes of your session, right? So they know when they need to execute on that guarantee to get it, okay? It's also great if everyone who joins gives you great feedback. And it's also great if the client is hesitant because it's almost like a trial for them, but it's a paid trial, so there's more investment on their behalf, right? This is not so great for people who may not um, have enough time to experience the result. So what this means is like if you're trying to get someone pain-free from 
um, let's say like a long-term chronic pain injury and you give them seven days, it's probably not enough time to get them pain-free, right? So they might not get all the way through that process. So you might either want to extend the satisfaction guarantee However, I probably wouldn't do that if it was a one-to-one -one service because imagine if it was like 12 weeks of you doing one-to-one -one and then at the end they say, I want my money back. It's like that's 12 weeks of your time and effort, okay? So um, keeping in mind, it's probably just not so great for when the time frame to get a great result is lengthened, okay? It also allows them to decide for no real reason that they just didn't like it. They don't have to tell you why, they just, I wasn't satisfied, right? Like you could think you did a great job, you could have got them from an eight out of 10 pain to two out of 10 pain and they're like, but I'm not pain free, right? So you, can, you need to accommodate for these sorts of things because there will be some people who may say those things, all right? It's also not great if it's a high demand of your time or extended duration before they receive the money back, like I mentioned before. Let's say, um, you know, after 12 weeks or even a year, you were like, yep, satisfaction guarantee, and you had to give someone back 12 to 52 weeks worth of payment, right? I would suggest that for any more than an hour of your time, one-on-one, -on -one, that you probably shouldn't be using a satisfaction guarantee because it's your time that is precious, and of course you want feedback for that, but making sure that it's time limited with these ones. Next one is called a not a guarantee guarantee. This is where it's so damn good that we just don't give guarantees. Like I mentioned earlier, this is great when the whole product or service is handed over immediately or you get an instant result. So you could do this for someone with like a dentist if they're going to like get a tooth pulled or something. Like it's almost next to no chance that you wouldn't actually pull the tooth. It's if that's what you were guaranteeing that you were going to do and the result is instant, the tooth is out, okay? It's not so great for pretty much everything else. So the reason that sort of the, the question, sorry, that really comes up is people ask me like, why even bother with this? The reason that you would bother is because it la adds a level of conviction in what you're selling is so fucking good that we just don't do guarantees because you're going to get an incredible experience. So you could also do this with a ton of um, high quality one-on-one -on -one time or group time. And you're like, it's so damn good that like you're going to get everything in these days so we're not giving guarantees because once you're in, you will fucking love it, right? And then that feels like, holy shit, like they really stick by it and there's no guarantees because everyone loves it. And if you follow that up with the other things that we spoke about in terms of making it irresistible, like the social proof and the testimonials and you have everything else in there, people may feel compelled to purchase. The last one is a performance guarantee. This is also called a conditional guarantee. So this is where you say, if you complete X, Y, and Z and you still don't get the result, we'll give you your money back, right? This is great for clients who are committed but skeptical. I call these the smart ones, right? These are great for clients who have skin in the game because they need to actually show up and do the work to get the result and Benefit to you is these people actually often get better results because they're like, I'm going to go all out and I'm going to really, really work hard. And if I, if I do everything that they say and I still don't get the result, I get my money back, which is a win-win, right? So it almost incentivizes people to take the action and then they end up loving it and getting the great result and they want to stay with you longer. This is not so great for uncommitted people or people who just want to see what's inside and they don't want to do the work or people who don't want to be held accountable or put in the effort, right? To me, those are all red flags anyway, and so those are not people who I want to work with and I choose to bring into the programs that I have. So a performance guarantee makes a ton of sense for me, right? The important thing to note here is you can't add a guarantee if you don't have clarity on your outcome that you're working towards. So like I mentioned before, we need that outcome. To execute this, you need to be confident in getting results. You need to have a time frame that those results occur in and be willing to put yourself on the line and some skin in the game, okay? What I personally do in my health biz, I do performance guarantees, if you didn't already figure that out. And what we do at the moment is if your pain doesn't improve in the first 12 weeks, we will rip up the rest of your contract, right? So people have anywhere between um, like a 12 and a 52 week contract with us. The reason that we say that, and typically we'd actually use the word agreement. It just sounds a little nicer than a contract, which sounds a little bit like, oh, um, so why we would do this. You need to follow the process and do all the things in order to determine whether you'll like it. So we can't have people who are trying to get out of pain 
in one week and be like, oh, it's not working for me. And then, um, them still want a refund or, or whatever to rip up the rest of the contract or whatever it is. Right. It also is going to remove time wasters because they're putting in time to get this outcome, right? They have to put in the work. It's also not fair to tap out on yourself if this is you in the performance um, guarantee before even trying, right? To just be like, oh, it didn't work for me. Oh, and I just want my money. Like you need to actually put in the work to see those outcomes. And it's also not fair to expect results without effort. That's pretty unreasonable in particularly, I guess, the health sector or in coaching in general, right? And also the reason we do performance guarantees is because the shit we teach works, right? So people put in the effort, they're going to get the outcome. That's not just in our exercise rehab stuff, but in our business coaching as well. So if you follow the process and if you do the things and you're not a time waster and you're not tapping out on yourself before even trying and you're making sure that you're expecting results after putting in effort and you understand the amount of effort required, then you understand that this shit works, right? And then in the unlucky, unlikely scenario, it doesn't work. We absolutely don't want someone continuing to work with us if we can't get them a result and they're doing all the things that we've suggested for them to get the outcome, okay? So that's why we do performance guarantees. So the thing that's really important is we wanna make our guarantees clear, not clever. So a lot of people say with performance guarantees, they're like, oh, well, if you do everything I say. And so I'm like, everything? Like, what is every? Like, do you say drink four liters of water and I drink 3.8? Does that count? Right. Or if you say if you put in the work, like what work, like let's get really granular on what they need to do to either execute on and be able to get the guarantee or not. OK, so instead you could say something like if you complete your three workouts a week and follow the meal plan for 12 weeks and still don't get the results, then you can insert the guarantee. OK, so. A guarantee is only as good as the promise. This is something I talk about a lot and I don't think enough people do. They're like, oh, we have a money back guarantee. We have a this. And it's like, but how do you actually execute on that guarantee if you want to go follow through with it? So like me as a buyer, before I purchase, I want to know these things because if it feels really vague or it's like do everything that I said, then it's like, well, probably not going to be able to get the guarantee. And so it's just not even worth having one at this point because you're just going to put 7,000 hurdles in front of me getting this guarantee back. And it's just, there's no point, right? So we need to say, we guarantee you'll achieve the result or, and then there's options at level of spice. Okay. So, um, we'll refund you your money, which is the most common that people use. That's one level spice. Uh, you double the level of spice. If you say, and we pay, we'll pay for you to work with our competitor, right? Because if you were going to guarantee that you would pay for them to work with your competitor, you must be damn sure that what you're ser- selling and your services gets incredible results because that seems like a pretty big deal, right? One level of spice will train you for free until you achieve the result. That's pretty compelling as well because if you're not going to get the result here, it might just be a longer time period, but we will continue working with you, right? That's a pretty cool guarantee. We'll rip up the remainder of your contract or we'll pay for you to get another service or product and you may not refund yours, right? So um, we'll pay for you to go and see a physio or we'll pay for you for something else, right? But you're not going to refund what you did or anything like that. Or one level of spice, we'll replace it or give you a new one. So this is great for products or maybe you swap out a coach. Maybe they have different coaches. They didn't like one. So you give them a different coach instead. All of these are so much better than having no guarantee. It's just whether you want how much the spice, how much spice you want to add to this and also understand you want to be able to execute on this because there may come a time and I've had people who on the very rare occasions have rightfully so asked for a guarantee, right? We had a satisfaction guarantee for our exercise and I remember one woman was not happy and I was like, can I get some feedback? Absolutely, I'll refund you. Is there anything else we can do? And we worked through that scenario right? It's very rare, but you do want to make sure that you can execute on this. If everyone asks for a refund, is that going to sink your business, right? You want to make absolute certain that you have great results and you can get them that and then back it up with your guarantee, not throwing a random guarantee in and crossing your fingers. Really, really important. Why I prefer these performance guarantees, and I've probably spoken a little bit about this already, 
but understanding what's the worst thing that can happen. Most people are going to say that it doesn't work due to having wasted time, effort, or money, okay, as the client. A performance guarantee is going to give you three options. Either you do it, you get the results, and you love it, everyone's happy, which is great. Option two, you do it, you don't get the results, and you get your money back, or you receive the guarantee. Number three, you don't do you do nothing, like you don't even do the course, you don't sign up, and you stay stuck. Okay? Only option one, sorry, only one option that ensures you stay stuck, and the only risk in this scenario is actually doing nothing. So option one and option two, there is zero risk because you either do it, get the results, love it, you're happy. Do it, don't get the results and get your money back. So sure, you might waste a little bit of time money, uh, time and effort, but you don't waste any money because you'll get that back, right? If you do nothing, you stay stuck. So this is why performance guarantees are really powerful and you can talk to your clients about this. If they're really on the fence, you go, hey, do you know we had a performance guarantee? Hopefully you're telling everyone that anyway. Um, but these are the three options. Let's say that you sign, let's play them out, right? You would just say this to your clients. Let's say you do it, you get the results, you love it, and you don't want your money back. That's the best scenario, right? Let's say that doesn't happen though. You do it um, and you follow all the instructions, you don't get the results, I'm just gonna give you your money back. And then you say, or you choose to walk away today and you stay stuck and you're no further ahead in your journey. In scenario three is the only one where you ensure that you stay stuck. Even if you move forward with this today, you don't get the results and you receive the guarantee, you will be forward. You have tried something, you've moved. Momentum is really, really powerful and you will have learned some things along the way, okay? Really, really powerful that you can use. Take that and say that in your sales conversations with your potential clients. I promise you it will be so effective. I have a tiny favor to ask of you, and that is to just hit that subscribe button if you have not done it yet. If you've made it this far, then I hope that this has been valuable for you and for us to get more incredible guests in front of your earlobes and faces if you're watching us on YouTube, then please do that now. And if you have any feedback or suggestions for me or something that was a golden nugget that really stood out to you in this episode, I would absolutely love if you flicked me a message over on Instagram at Xenia Wood Official. Until next episode and in whatever you do, move swiftly.